Hey, hope you're doing well today. I uh, wanted to do a little video on the 2025 Ram 1500 RHO. As you guessed, if you've been watching so far, you can kind of tell I'm pretty impressed by the specs of this truck. I've been a pretty big Ram fan for a while, ever since they've really updated their game back in around 2014. The interiors are nice. They've upgraded a lot of the quality. They're really bringing their air game, and especially in 2019 when they updated their truck, it really took it to another level. And for 2025, I think this RHO, even though it's not the TRX and it never will be the TRX, there's a lot of value in this truck. And I think the aftermarket, what they're going to do with this is going to be insane. And if you start looking at the specs and performance on this, it's impressive. So I'm going to show you what I have on order and some updates as far as the process on when they're coming. So let's do this. So there you have it. This is basically the exact same truck that I have on order. 2025 Ram. I went with the billet silver. I kind of like this color. I think it's a pretty sharp looking setup. I went with the base wheel and I typically do this on Raptor orders as well, just because you're paying the extra, like what is it, $1,900 for the option. Um, and they're, they're nice looking rims, don't get me wrong, but you don't get to keep the original set of wheels. So I'll find some takeoffs or maybe I'll just upgrade to some methods like I did on the Bronco and try that option. Some of the things I'm really liking about this new uh, RHO is if you notice this area here, the fascia has been updated in this area as well as in here. I think this is going to look a lot sharper. I also chose to not go with the decals. I'm not a big fan of RHO decals on the hood or on the backside, just not my style. Um, I also did not know, go with the rock rails. Um, I can add those after the fact if I wanted, but I just wasn't really a big fan of that option. Here's the uh, Here's what the RHO decals look like. For 500 bucks, I don't know, call me crazy, but I don't think people are gonna be that excited to have an RHO per se versus a TRX. So I'll just kind of save the 500 bucks. I don't mind the hood decals. Let's see if we can see it. Um, I just don't think it's worth the $900 that, that the option is. Let's see if we can drag here. Oh, it's not gonna, not gonna let us, unfortunately. But I'm just not, I don't think it's worth the $1,400 worth of decals. I also did not go with the trailer towing mirrors. Even though I do like these mirrors, I just don't like how they look on a performance truck like this. And I found these standard mirrors work pretty darn good, even for towing an eight and a half foot wide uh, trailer behind uh, these, these Ram trucks. I also didn't go with the tire carrier in the bed. It takes up too much room. I just not a fan. Uh, I can always strap it in the bed if I am doing an off-road event. Um, tonneau covers, I like the Truxedo brand. I won't go with the trifold from them. Um, now, interior-wise, I did go with the upgraded level one, and I'll kind of go through that, but you can kind of see some of the differences of the interior and the layout. This looks really sharp. Uh, let's do the 360 view here so you can kind of see some of the different views on it. The part that I think is going to be interesting is this. I'll be real curious to see if I like this. I got some mixed feelings on this because I actually, a part I'm bummed about is you do lose all of the storage up there. And I do use the storage quite a bit currently on my Ram. And this is more for a passenger. So hopefully it's worth it. I don't know if it will be. The other thing I've noticed on all the Ram RHOs that I've seen pictures of, at least on Ram's website, is this does show the trailer brake controller and you can see the aux switches there it doesn't have the pro steering which i didn't pay for that feature because i've never used it in 10 plus vehicles i've ever had i can back up a vehicle without it and plus i think it looks kind of ugly more than anything i do like that if this is going to have these aluminum brushed uh, uh pedals i think that looks pretty sharp and then you do have your standard center console shifter um let's see interior wise i like how they got the embroidery in the seating that looks pretty sharp uh, and then this is obviously another area I think Ram does really good is the um, this rear fold down seat area I think will be pretty awesome. And then I did go with the sunroof and I was mixed feelings about it, but hopefully it'll be decent because I'm not a big sunroof fan because I feel like they squeak and they rattle and they just create more problems. But just generally, look at the nice fit and finish in this interior. It's awesome. I hope this is a, as sweet of a truck as what it looks like it's going to be. Now, some of the other features here. See, there's your $1,600 for the sunroof. I didn't go with the red interior accents. I'm not a fan of it for $1,500. Um, just, just not my style. 
Um, but I did go with the, I think I did go with the bed utility group. Yep, I don't have it selected here, but I wanted it because I wanted the 115 volt outlet uh, in the corner. Uh, spray and bed liner, which is nice, and the deployable bed stop. I've had this on my current RAM, and I think this is pretty sweet. I did not go with the tow technology group. Reason B, I don't see the value in this. I can back up and hitch by myself. I did go with the level one because I wanted the cooled front seats, um, and this does get the massaging seats. That's going to be incredible. I'm really curious to see how well those things work. And what's cool is this gets you the carbon fiber interior. So this thing is like super loaded out. It's just amazing how much and the vented rear seats. There's so many features still to this day that Ram has in a pickup truck that none of the other brands have like massaging front seats in an off-road truck, um, hands-free driving in an off-road truck, and then mas uh, ventilated rear seats. I don't know of another truck yet that has that feature. And then I did add the... Uh, uh, trailer tow group. Okay, so there's my order. Um, as you can see, this has got the three liter high output with the billet, two tone, bed utility group, trailer tow group, dual set uh, panoramic level one, and then it just talks about some of the other stuff. And then you can kind of see the, the pricing. So some other things I thought that was interesting that I kind of wanted to show. If we go into some of these specs here, if you go on Ram's website, this is not accurate see the fuel economy this stuff is not accurate because if we go to compare i just pulled up four different options to compare with fuel economy here's rho versus ho same engine look at your fuel economy 15 21 14 16 so clearly ram's website they've not updated these specs yet to align with what they certified with the epa but what's interesting is i wanted to include Ram RHO versus Ram HO versus TRX. And you could see the delineation of fuel economy as it went from a standard Ram pickup truck down to same engine, but off-road in 35s. You lose five miles per gallon on the highway, but only one mile per gallon in city, which is interesting. But what's wild is how much better fuel economy it gets than the outgoing TRX. But look how much money in fuel you'd spend with the TRX over the other options. But just for the comparison, I just throw in the regular... F-150 Raptor, and there's a sizable difference in fuel economy. It's only one mile per gallon mixed, but look how much difference in fuel you spend over five years. And that's because you can run 87 regular octane fuel in the Raptor, whereas the RHO requires premium. I'm going to dive into this once I get my truck and see if that is the case. That'll be really, really interesting if that is for sure premium required. Here's another thing I want to share with you guys. If you haven't heard of Fouts Motorsports, here's some of the first modifications already out for this truck. They basically just updated their website to show uh, instead of TRX, it's RHO. But I think this is pretty cool if you're into off-roading. These guys already got a lot of different skid plates and tie rods and bump stops and differential skids. They've got a lot of great modifications already out and available for the RHO, which is awesome. So that's great. I'll include the link of this below. Uh, background on Greg Fouts, the guys from the Raptor community. He did some really cool stuff back in the day for the F-150 Raptor when they raced through Baja. So his stuff is highly engineered and pretty great stuff. He's very well respected in the off-road community. If I go back to this motor trend, I wanted to show something here. Um, so if we go back to, this is the high output and People are kind of doing some reviews on this. Like in this case, this is Motor Trend. They talk about it. It drinks a lot of fuel, but there's a few takeaways in this thing that I thought was interesting. This thing does 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds with a quarter mile of 13 seconds at 105 mile per hour. Compare that to the Raptor Super Cab at 5.2 seconds in 13.9 at 8 mile per hour less. This RHO or HO is literally, from what I can tell, is going to come right in the middle of performance between the standard Raptor and the Raptor R. It's like dead set right in the middle because there's a Raptor R at 3.7 seconds and 12, one and a quarter mile at 111 mile per hour. But how wild would this be if, if the Raptor or the, or the uh, Rebel, if the RHO is in that 102 mile per hour range? Man, it's not going to take a whole lot to really make this thing a much faster truck, which I think is gonna be an incredible sleeper. And then I just wanted to show you one last thing here. I wanted to get into the performance numbers here. If we look at the statistics of the horsepower of the standard high output Raptor, 
450 horsepower at 5,850 RPMs, 510 torque at 3,000 RPMs. Now we compare this to the standard RHO motor, 540 horsepower at 5,700 RPMs. So it's about 90 horsepower more at 150, horse, 150 RPMs less. But now when we look at torque, the 3.5 is hitting max torque at 3,000 RPMs, whereas the RHO is at 3,500 RPMs. Not a big deal, but if I had to guess by just looking at the numbers posted here, pound foot ratings, RPMs, the nature of an inline six cylinder, being smaller displacement, I think this motor, even though they're both six cylinder turbos, I think is gonna feel considerably different than the high output um, Raptor for a few reasons. This, this has been one of my complaints of the EcoBoost 3.5. It's a phenomenal motor, but the way it makes power, it's kind of like, how do you say, it signs off really quick at the top. It just doesn't keep pulling. Now the Raptor R, this motor is incredible. It sings to the moon and the numbers correspond. Look at the peak torque, 1300 RPMs higher. I'm sharing this because this this RHO motor, the specs sit literally, if you look at this, 3,500, 5,700, it sits right in the middle of this area. I think it's going to be a more playful motor to drive, which might make it more fun. So anyhow, that's just some stuff, you know, it's all speculation. But now, all right, ordered this truck about two months ago, build dates on this. So what I've been told about these trucks is they're actually going to start being built here in the next about three weeks, which is awesome. Uh, it looks like it was going to be August 18th. It might be getting moved now to August 28th. So it's just right around the corner. So I'll be curious to see where my truck is as far as um, priority and build date. I am excited to share. I do have my VIN number now, so that's exciting. So I'm going to be keeping up with where this is at. And once I get more information on the build status, I will be sharing with everybody. It'll be really interesting. I hope the, you know, these things, the build quality is good. I'm definitely kind of spooked with everything going on, especially now with all the stuff with Toyota. Everybody seems to be struggling with quality. So hopefully Ram did a great job on this. So I'm excited. Uh, this is going to be a little weird for me going from a Raptor R to the RHO, but the Ram interior, the comfort, day-to-day -day drivability, I'm hoping it's going to be a really solid truck. I'll give it a go, see what it's like. I'm, uh, right now, I'm just kind of letting Ford work out their things, and maybe I'm back into a Ford at some point. I've always been a Ford fanboy to a degree, uh, but we'll see how this all plays out. I'm excited to get this, and uh, most importantly, I'll keep you guys updated once I find out more build information. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. Have a good one.